The transient shaper is a type of attack and release envelope control, which produces a result that could be likened to a compression. Compressors level out the audio by making loud sounds softer and vice versa. The result is that the levels become more even and individual sounds can get more power and punch. Normal compressors are activated by peaks and volume changes in the actual audio. The transient shaper is instead activated by the individual slices in the loop. Regardless of method, if you've ever used a compressor, you'll find that the transient shaper will affect the sound in a similar way. It is, however, important to be aware of this difference, as the transient shaper won't work as intended unless the file contains slices. Let's give our sample a little more punch by selecting the hard attack preset here. To compensate for the volume loss that can be caused by this effect, the transient shaper has automatic gain compensation that raises the overall level by a suitable amount. Notice that our sample is now peaking, meaning that the loudest portions of the sample are so loud that they're becoming distorted. Let's reduce the overall gain by three decibels to solve this. Now let's take a look at each parameter. This is the threshold level above which the effect sets in. After the initial slice attack, signals with levels above the threshold will be affected, while signals below it will not. In practice, this means that the lower the threshold setting, the more the signal will be affected by the transient shaper. Amount lets you specify the amount of gain reduction applied to the signals above the set threshold. Attack governs how quickly the envelope will apply its effect when signals rise above the set threshold. If you raise this value, the response will be slower, allowing more of the signal to pass through unaffected. Typically, this is used for preserving the attacks of the sounds. When the signal level drops below the set threshold, release determines how long it takes before the transient shaper lets the sound through unaffected. Set this to short values for intense compressor effects or to longer values for a smoother change of the dynamics. Gain shows the amount of gain reduction or increase in decibels caused by the combined compression and gain compensation. Next, we'll look at the equalizer.